Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another mail day. It's mail day number 44 of the year 2022 here on October 23rd. As always, my mail days are uh, images, high detailed images front and back depicted of cards that have arrived at my PWCC vault, whether they were purchased on eBay, my slabs, IG, Facebook, PWCC, Golden, uh, Mile High, Robert Edwards, wherever I got them. When they arrive at the vault, that's when I make my mail days available. Some of these cards you may have seen in some of my PSA grade reveal videos. If you'd like to watch cards come back from PSA and BGS and now tag, yes, I've got a video coming out soon about tag grading as well. Uh, for those of you who are curious, that's the new automated uh, grading company out there uh, that uh, I'm anxious to see uh, and learn a little bit more about. If you like grade reveal videos, you're in the right place. So subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the bell icon so you get notifications when new grade reveals come in. Uh, I've got you know hundreds of cards going in and out every month for sure, and uh, I'm having a blast doing it. Sometimes I get kicked in the nether region, and sometimes I get a nice big pat on the back, and uh, it ends up being a profitable endeavor. Uh, but either way, it's fun, and either way, I'm going to share it with you because that's the way I do things. I'm very transparent about the wins and the losses. I do not uh, condone the type of content out there that shares only the positives. Even though I am an optimistic and positive person, I like to share with you the negatives as well. Uh, generally speaking, they seem to balance on the side of positive for me in the hobby. And so, uh, fingers crossed that we can keep up that type of tradition. Anyway, uh, this is mail day number 44. Uh, nothing special on this first card. This is a Michael Jordan 2002 Upper Deck Glass. Again, I've said it many times, including my last mail day, where I had another 2002 SP Authentic Michael Jordan PSA 10. If he's in a Wizards uniform, I don't mind, because that means the price is going to be cheaper. It's still Michael Jordan. He's still doing his thing. And for those of you who think he was a flop when he played those couple years with the Wizards, go check again and look at those stats. He was not a flop, and he was old as hell. And... Uh, he was smoking cigars and, you know, doing what he does for a couple of years and then decided to come back and he was still one of the best players in the NBA and uh, actually was doing some things with that Wizards team, believe it or not. So uh, two of the great question marks about Jordan is what if he'd have had one more year with those Wizards teams and his body had held up? And then what if he'd have kept playing baseball? Would he have made it to the major leagues and been a viable, decent major league baseball player? There's mixed reviews on that. I know I've heard. I watched The Last Dance and I've listened to a bunch of interviews and stuff, but interesting stuff. Anyway, getting back to the mail day this is card uh number 90 from the 2002 upper deck glass is a really cool product they had some glass type autographs and acetate stuff in there this is just a base card nothing special it's not autographed or anything like that in fact here's his first year with the wizards he shot a paltry 41.6 percent uh, from the field still a decent free throw shooter obviously he didn't have a lift that he had so he couldn't get the separation that he had when he was playing with the bulls where he could get a shot off anytime over anybody anywhere at any spot on the floor that he wanted to uh, but the dude averaged almost 23 points a game coming back uh, that year. And uh, that's that's pretty impressive in a 60-game uh, season when he didn't have a lot of help around him. Uh, and the, the little narrative on here says, Jordan has made the Wizards competitive again, and they are vying for a playoff berth in 0203. Jordan collected 41 points versus Indiana on January 4th, 2003. Anyway, there's your card. That's enough on that card. Little baby base Jordan I didn't have, so I added it to my Jordan collection. Here's a card that's pretty cool. It's serial number to 2000, not the lowest, but anytime you get an early 2000 serial number card, it's pretty cool. You guys know that I do PC Shaq, and so I've got a picture of Shaq dunking on this 2002 SP Authentic card number 119. These cards grade really well. Uh, anytime you can add a serial number to Shaq, PSA 10, you might as well add it. And so that's in my collection right now not a real special card but Shaq is Shaq and PSA 10 is PSA 10 let me shrink this a little no, let me go this way there you go uh, next on the list is a duplicate copy I have two copies of this and I do have the navy blue parallel PSA 10 as well as you guys know I'm a grade snob this is a card that I actually purchased in a collection raw sent it in and PSA actually did treat me right and massage my nether region I probably should not say that on uh, live video here not live but like on public platforms but I did not get kicked in the nether region let's leave it that way uh, I got a nice big pat on the back from PSA and I actually got a PSA 10 on a card from the 1990s that had Michael Jordan on the cover of it uh, very difficult to do recently for those of you who have tried let me know how your results have been um, you know pretty cool looking base card here again this is that weird year where it's a uh, 95 EXL uh, and the parallel color they chose was almost the same as the base color so this black border is the 
the base, the parallel is like a dark navy blue. I know that's redundant, but it's like a deep navy blue, which you can barely tell the difference if you're just flipping through cards. But uh, I probably should have pulled it up here so I could show you guys the difference. But uh, this is the black copy. It is my second, so I do have a duplicate. Probably sell one of those one day, but not, any, not in a hurry to sell it anything right now. Uh, here's a card that I got from a really good friend of mine, uh, Andrew Goldberg of the Luca Nation Network. My boss. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Andrew uh, has become a very good friend of mine in the hobby. Uh, he knew I collected Dame Lillard. I don't have any one-in-one -on -one cards. That's uh, a Panini product that came out. Uh, this is the 2019 Panini one-in-one. -one. It's the color match Lillard Red. Uh, this card is a PSA 10, and it is also serial numbered uh, somewhere to 15. So card number four out of 15. Again, remember Lillard's one of those guys where you're never going to get his jersey number, uh, which is fine with me because I don't like paying premiums for jersey numbers. He's jersey number zero and that's why. So, uh, But this PSA 10 Red Lillard came from my good friend Andrew Goldberg. If you're not subscribed to me on his network, the Luca Nation Network, our network, please go subscribe and hit that subscribe button uh, and uh, keep up with my content that I'm putting out over there, including all of the PWCC auction recaps, premiere and weekly, as well as my Friday Michael Jordan Explore the Card episodes that come out every Friday on the Luca Nation Network. YouTube channel and all podcast platforms uh, but that is a nice kind gift you didn't have to do that uh, and that was a, a very thoughtful gesture from Andrew because he knew I collected Lillard and the card would mean a lot more to me than it did to him uh, next is a card that you may have seen in a recent P uh, PSA grade reveal video that I did. I'm a huge Anthony Simons collector. I think I've got four of his oranges. Actually, I think I sold one, so maybe I now only have three. Uh, this is my second copy of a PSA 10, so happy to have it. This was a PSA 9, and I cracked it, and I sent it back, and I just thought, I was like, this is a 10. That doesn't look like a 9. I saw the disparity in the value between a 9 and a 10, and I was like, well, hell, it's worth $18 or $22 or whatever I paid. I can't remember when I sent this one in. But I cracked it, I cleaned it, wiped it down again, and then resent it to PSA, and it came back a 10, and it's a monster. Um, I don't know exactly the value, anywhere between 1500 and 2500 uh, A couple of them have sold over 2000 but that was a few months ago before the market tanked. So uh, we don't know, but uh, my man did just hit a running hook shot. Again, I'm filming this on October 23rd, so the prior game was the first Portland Trailblazers home game. Lillard, in Dame time, deferred to my guy, Anthony Simons, here, who uh, shot a Kareem hook shot down the middle of the lane to win the game for the Blazers in the home opener. And uh, very proud of my guy for stepping up and doing that. And very proud of Lillard for deferring in a situation where uh, not many people would. But Lillard was worn out. He did have a humongous game. Uh, I think he was in the 40s in points scored and had a huge game. He had missed the game winner in regulation, believe it or not. And so to let Anthony come in and hit that shot and win that game, I know that's a big step forward in the confidence level for Anthony. And so uh, anyway, happy to add this one to my collection. I've got hundreds of Anthony Simons uh, rookie cards, and, uh, and I've sold hundreds of Anthony Simons rookie cards as well. So one of my biggest prospect investments uh, in the history of my collecting career. So happy to add that second uh, PSA 10 orange serial number to 49 Anthony Simons rookie card. Uh, next, I got a couple of Baby Lillard Golds. Uh, these aren't going to be huge cards because of the grade, So, uh, but I like gold, right? There's only 10 of them, and if it's a PSA 8 or 9, I'll look at it. Do I prefer it in a 10? Yes. Will I pay a premium for the 10? Yes. Uh, but if I see a gold base in a PSA 8 or PSA 9, I think I do um, kind of feel an obligation to pick it up because there's only 10 of them out there, and if I'm serious about growing my Damian Lillard collection, which I am, and I'm having a great deal of fun doing that. Um, that's what I'm doing here. In the background, you see Ennis Cantor, uh, also known as Ennis Freedom, I think he changed his name to. I think that's DeAndre Hunter on the left, and I think that's clearly Kent, Clint Capella on the right. Uh, but that is a Gold Lillard serial number to 5 out of 10 uh, from 2020 Panini Select. Uh, another Lillard Gold. Another, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm jumping too far ahead. Uh, cool card. This was in my most recent PSA grade reveal as well. This is a card that I bought raw for pennies on the dollar. Sent it into PSA. I thought it looked awesome. I like 2013 Prism. It's my favorite year of Prism. Uh, the light blue appeals to me. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. These are all serial numbered to 299, I think. Or is it 199? Yeah, 199. So 109 out of 199. This is an insert called Hall Monitors. Hall being Hall of Fame, obviously. 
um, and it looks like an MRI machine. Like every time I look at it, I look like Magic's about to run up into this MRI machine, you know, head first, which I've had too many MRIs done on my body from playing sports my whole life. I don't know if you guys hate them as much as I do. Uh, I just recently got an open MRI and it wasn't as open as I would have liked. The freaking thing was like three inches from my face, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, usually when you go into the MRI machine, it means you're going to have surgery or, uh, you know, something's wrong and they can't discover from an x-ray because they need to see tendons and ligaments and crap like that. But MRIs suck for those of you who are too young to know what they are. When you get older and you start breaking crap and you play sports longer than you're supposed to, you'll know what I'm talking about. But picked up this, uh, this magic and got a, a good grade from PSA, another slap on the back, which I'm happy to add to my collection. I don't really collect magic. The card I think is already even listed, or maybe I haven't listed it yet, but I'm going to list it on the PWC fixed marketplace if it sells it sells if it doesn't it doesn't so I'm gonna get the price I want or I'm just gonna keep it in my collection not a problem I don't mind waiting out this downturn in the market and hoping for better days uh, two Kenner Michael Jordan starting lineup cards coming in a row uh, this one I was pretty happy with because it's not centered well and I got a nine which is odd because this was the same PSA shipment that I got back where I got crushed on the starting lineup cards. This card, I didn't think deserved a nine, and it got a nine. Some of the other cards, I thought definitely deserved nines with a shot at 10, and they came back sixes. So no rhyme or reason here. I mean, this card is definitely not centered well, and it got a nine. It just doesn't make sense, but I'm happy to add it to the collection. Uh, these Kenner starting lineup Jordan cards are really cool. Uh, I need to get on that checklist and start chasing that set in PSA 9 and 10 condition. Uh, and this is another example. Like, I think this one looks as good as the other one. Obviously, this bottom left corner is a little bit shady. Uh, so I can see it not getting a 10, obviously. Uh, but an 8, probably more deserved. Uh, the centering on this one is actually better than the centering on the other one. I don't know if maybe they're hitting me uh, and dinging me for the... It, I do see sort of hints of browning around the edges because these cards are just so old. And when, you know, this one I bought from a collection here in Louisiana. And when you're in South Louisiana, uh, paper just melts, right? I, I can't express stress to you guys. You guys that live in the Philippines know. You guys that live in maybe Miami or in South America who collect know. Uh, but the climate in Baton Rouge, Louisiana is just preposterous. It is like when you walk out in the middle of August, it's like you, somebody splashed water in your face. It's so hot and humid. Um, paper products have issues and you've got to really take special precautions to preserve your cards down here, uh, especially if they're out in the open, even in your house with an air conditioned uh, with an air conditioned house. I'm telling you, you just got to be here to understand it. It's part of the reason I decided to take all of my valuable cards out of my two gun safes that I have at my house. I had two big six foot tall or maybe five foot tall, huge bad boy, you know, $3,000 gun safes. And I had thousands and thousands of cards, slab cards in there. And uh, I just could not keep it arid enough. It was just too humid. No matter what I did, I had a dehumidifier in the room. I had silica packets in there. I just couldn't keep them right. So I decided to ship them all off to PWCC, which is great for you guys, because now you get to see these high definition front and back images uh, from the cards that are in my vault. And then the last card from mail day number 44 is another Anthony Simons. It's a PSA 10. I can't remember, um, but I think this was another card that I had in a PSA 9 slab and I cracked it and I sent it to PSA and it came back a 10. So very happy to add this one back into the collection as a PSA 10 as well. Um, you know, obviously 10s have a pretty huge margin of value over the 9s. I know I've got a few copies of this one, maybe two or three copies of this one. So just another one to add to the collection. There will come a time where I'll sell my Anthony Simons I'm waiting for the market to settle down and cool off. I really do think he's the heir apparent in Portland. I love what I see from him. Uh, and like I said, that aforementioned game winner can only help uh, get his game on track in this early season. I got to believe, uh, even with Nurkic and Jeremy Grant there, I think Anthony is going to be the second leading scorer in Portland this year uh, at 20 plus points per game. I, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm optimistic. Well, I know I'm optimistic and I know I'm not objective, but uh, those are my thoughts. I think he's got all the tools to become an absolute alpha super scoring guard uh, in the NBA. One of those one-two combo guards that can play with or off the ball. So we'll see how this season progresses with Lillard and his health and Nurkic and his health, which is always in question and see how the Blazers do. Anyway, that's it guys uh, for episode number, uh, episode number four. Why is it? There we go. Okay. 
Uh, we got one Jordan base baby, one Shaq serial number to two uh, serial number to two thousand PSA ten, a Jordan at ninety five EXL black border PSA ten, a Lillard one in one PSA ten, a gift from my good friend Andrew Goldberg with the Luca Nation Network, a PSA ten orange Anthony Simons, a PSA ten Magic Hall monitors, an eight. Uh, PSA 8 Lillard serial number to 10 select P uh, pop one just one graded higher uh, the hall monitors is also a pop two I should have said that two Kenner starting lineups one I did great on better than expected one I did worse than expected so I really expected eight and eight for those two uh, seven and nine I guess is a fair enough split and is what it is I'll keep those in my collection even though they're low graded and then an Anthony Simons blue fast break which is serial number to 175 PSA 10 pretty big card right there so anyway that's it guys thanks for watching that was mail day number 44 hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit the bell icon so you get notifications of other mail days and other really cool videos that i've got i've got so many fantastic ideas i can't wait i wish i had more time in the day to put out the content that i know i'm capable of i am meeting with a graphics team uh to get my uh get my graphics better get my audio and visual better because you guys deserve better i'm putting you uh, putting some great content at your disposal, but you deserve the best in audio and visual. And I, uh, I, it's my pledge to get that to you. I wanted to get acclimated to doing these YouTube videos and get maybe a year of this channel under my belt before I really spent some money to upgrade uh, on the audio and visual stuff and some of the graphical overlays that I use when I share on my video channel. But uh, I promise it's coming to you guys. Just be patient with me and hang in there. And I appreciate all of you who have been loyal and stuck with me from the beginning, which was just December of 2021. It's not even been a year yet, but I'm going to spend some cash and uh, and make these things look prettier for you guys. But uh, I thank you guys for putting up with the, the hack amateur hack Cajun job that I've been doing with the audio and visual so far. So I need a better mic. I need some better graphics and I'm going to get that to you guys. I promise. Thank you guys for watching as always. Keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby and peace.